guys, it's up the iPod Kid here, and I know that I have not been making videos as much as I used to. I've recently started college within this past month, and I've been extremely busy with schoolwork. No excuses, though. I will be starting my videos up again today. Uh, I do have my first video right after this little segment, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, but anyway, here's a little quick dorm room tour if you guys want to see this. Um, it's pretty simplistic, obviously. It's just like a normal college dorm room. Roommate's bed right there. And then that's our TV with PS3 desks. Mine's a little bit cluttered right here. And then here's my bed with all my speakers and whatnot. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a heads up what I've been doing, why I've been so busy lately. But if you make sure you stay tuned, I'll have a lot of videos up for you guys soon. Stay tuned for this one. And today for this video, I have a review of the world's very first solar-powered speaker system for the iPod and iPhone. Now this is the Solar speaker system by Eton, and what's great about this, like I've already previously mentioned, is that it has a solar panel included on the device, so you'll be able to just push it on open, and uh, whenever you have direct sunlight, you'll be able to charge and play your iPod, iPhone, and also it will charge and play the speaker system, so you'll never have any need for cords if you're outdoors in direct sunlight. However, if you're indoors and you don't have any uh, access to sunlight, you do have the included power brick, so you'll be able to play it indoors just as easily. Now what's great about this is that although it does take from the elements by adding solar power functionality to the speaker system, it also protects from some of the elements. You have a water cover case so that you'll be able to protect from some sort of water damage uh, from splashes and any type of small little bit amount of rain. Uh, and then also this is enclosed in rubber so it's very, very, very durable and rugged. So uh, if you ever do drop this from a few feet if you're carrying it out to a field or anything like that, you know that it's going to be safe and protected. And then your iPod just fits in there nice and snug so it's nice secure and protected and once your device is inside you're able to use the included remote control uh, so you can play all of your songs and I've actually used this from quite some distance I've been playing soccer and I've controlled it from 30 40 50 yards away uh, when you get this max volume it's great for outdoor use obviously with you by yourself or a huge group of friends just playing around as you guys see right here, these are the indicator lights, you have power, you have sun, so if you're not in direct sunlight, it will show you that you're actually discharging your device and the speaker system, but if you are in direct sunlight, it will be able to power the speakers and the device itself, so you'll be able to have unlimited use if you're in direct sunlight. And then also right here, there's a button called bass, if you see that right there, it's also located on the remote control right there, and this will allow for bass boosting technology, which sounds awesome, and it's a pretty cool idea, however, it can have a few problems and flaws when you get up to max volume, and I'll show you guys that one right now. Okay, so I have a song selected. We're going to start it playing at a reasonable volume. This is going to be at about medium volume from the speaker system uh, with bass boosting turned off. So as you see, it's not too horrible, but when I do start the song over, I'll turn it up to max volume and I'll turn bass on, and then you'll be able to hear with the audio included how ruffled it can kind of get when you're at max with bass enabled. So bass is on, let's go to max volume, and here we go. Sitting on a trusted, huffing on the best cut buds, trying to... So if you can tell, the audio right there, including the lyrics, are definitely muffled. But if you turn bass boosting off, and you can go down to a reasonable level, it actually plays perfectly. Get butt from Miss Muffet. Me and Teddy Rock spin, stirring up a ruckus. Egging all the houses, smashing all the pumpkins. Suck a dick butt kiss. Chumps can't fog with the punk. All right. So there's a pretty good run through of the uh, Eton Solrus power speakers. I highly recommend if you see yourself using these outdoors at all. Um, for an indoor speaker system, not so much. It's pretty good for indoors. Uh, it does get some really nice level of volume and pretty good quality at a reasonable volume. Uh, however, if you're not going to be utilizing the outdoor solar powered panel, then there's really absolutely no reason for you to want to go get these. Um, it is a great product though, however. I use it all the time outside. I go outside with my buddies and uh, we literally just play with this outside and we have this open and it goes on for hours and hours. doesn't have any problems with that and it plays across about the entire soccer field. Um, so I recommend it for outdoor use, indoor use, not so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of the Eton Solra power speakers. I'll talk to you later. Have a fantastic day.